Hello, welcome to this 10 minute overview over the MPSC Mindstorms project where we develop code and stuff to do embedded software development with projectional language workbenches, specifically with JetBrains MPS. What you can see here is basically a C program. Um, here, this is actually a normal C function with some documentation on top of it. Um, you can call other functions, you have arguments, just as, as you would expect. Um, and you can, of course, add new functions, new procedures, right, void, do something else, and so on and so on. But if you scroll up a little bit, you can see additional things that are not so normal. You can see a task, which in this case is activated uh, cyclically every one system ticks. You can, of course, also change this and make it activate in your background task and stuff. Um, inside this task, you can have basically normal C code. And um, you can also see that um, you can make the behavior basically of a switch statement that switches over the state of a state machine. So if the line follower state machine is in the state running, then we do this, otherwise we don't do anything. And this line follower state machine is defined right ahead. So here is a state machine, in this case with two states and one event. And if the event initialized shows up in the initializing state, which is the initial state, you go to the running state. Now, um, you can see that inside this uh, state machine, you can do guard conditions. And these guard conditions are basically uh, normal C expressions where you can call functions and so on. So C as programming code and state machines are completely integrated. Um, one thing that's actually quite nice is that we have support for product line variability. Um, what you see here on the left is actually only a part of the program, um, although it looks like it's complete. Um, it only shows the features that are, or it only shows the code for the features that are selected right here. Here are a bunch of configuration features and they're currently all false. If I switch this one on, you can see you another state. If I switch this one on, there is yet another state. So um, basically what we've seen so far is the program in a variant specific projection where you can select what you want to see here, but you can also show the program in a you know, show everything mode where the various program elements are then annotated with so-called feature expressions. Like for example, this event blocked um, is only part of the system if the sonar configuration is selected. And you can basically take any element, uh, you know, big, small, anything, and um, add um, a feature clause where you then can put, let's say, bumper and not debug output. You can actually put complete expressions here. So you can make different parts of the program, you know, be only in the system if certain configuration features are selected. This is a very well-known approach from product line engineering. And because this is a projectional editor, you can easily show the program, you know, with annotations, without annotations, variant specific, and so on. So let's go back to the show everything mode because I want to show you something else. Another very nice property of projectional editing is that you can show the same program in different ways. So I can select, for example, the state machine and say show as diag... Sorry, this is actually a hello world kind of thing that is not really finished yet. I just showed you... A, I didn't really want to show you, but what I want to show you is to show you as table. And now you can see the state machine with the states in the row header the uh, events in the column header and you can for example go here and add a transition you know right and if you go back to the text mode you can now see this additional um, uh, tr transition that we've just added I think it was this one okay so that's that um, the diagram notation will be you know really useful real short re re in, 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 shortly um, what else do we have? For example, here you can see a variable that is um, so-called is typed as an average int over 10, which means that if you assign to the variable with this special, you know, equals divided by uh, operator, then although this function only returns a normal integer, the this variable, which is you know typed to be average, always contains the average over the last, in this case, 10 assignments, which is very useful if you have a very sensitive sensor and you want the average value. We also have the ability to, for example, mark this module as safe. And if it's safe, then in the generated C code, all assignments like this one, you know, you have an int8 variable, and you assign something to an int8. If that value is actually bigger than 8 bits, then you get an overflow. And um, if, you, if you generate with the safe flag turned on, 
uh, you get uh, overflow checks at runtime here. Um, what you've seen so far is basically general purpose embedded programming. Um, you might also want to integrate real domain specific languages. For example, a language that is specific to the typical two wheel uh, line follower robot with uh, Lego Mindstorms. And here you can see such a domain specific language. Actually, this is obviously the program, not the language. And what's interesting is that from this specific language, you can easily call into normal C procedures, right? So um, the, the modeling, if you will, and the programming is completely integrated, which is one of the goals of what we're doing here. Something else I can show you is that you can, for example, mark, in this case, two, two, two program elements, press Control shift b or Control shift b let's uh, move this in, and you give it some name, and now you've seen that the system has introduced a new block. So this is basically support for refactoring. MPS provides support for refactoring. Finally, um, we are also working on support for component-based development. Um, for example, here you can see an interface, def actually several interface definitions. Interfaces are basically collections of uh, C functions. Um, and then there is a component where the component can provide or require interfaces. And here in blue, we have component implementations. And component implement there can be several component implementations for the same component, uh, you know, leading to the ability to easily replace something with a different implementation, let's say for a different, you know, target environment or for testing. And uh, you can see, if you go back here, this is a basically normal C program, where in this case, we declare a so-called port adapter, which is a way of calling into components. This is the interface, component, component implementation. And if we go here, you can see that you can use the familiar dot notation with you know, the, the familiar code completion here to do uh, method calls on components, you know, just like you would do with objects uh, in OO languages. But of course, um, when we generate code, we, re we resolve all of this statically so that there is no runtime overhead. So, um, this is some of the features we've built here. We have more stuff. For example, we can declare uh, a physical quantity where you can say there is a quantity called speed, which is an, basically an integer from 0 to 300. So we can you know, declare variables with reasonable types. Actually, it's called sped. So, and then if you assign this a number, it says you know, this is incompatible. You have to explicitly say whether this is you know, the number one or the physical speed one. And this is basically something you need in embedded systems and it makes some of these things much more type safe than what you have with only C programming. So this has been a very quick demo of what we've built. Let me say two words about how we've built it. This is uh, obviously JetBrains MPS, a projectional language workbench, a very nice tool. It's open source. You can get it from jetbrains.com slash MPS. And all these different parts that I've shown are actually separate language modules. Here is the modular embedded DSL MED core language, which is basically C. And um, then there is a separate language for feature dependencies, you know, these, these blue things. There is a special language for uh, state machines, for physical quantities, for tasks, for components and other things. And um, the nice thing is that you can selectively use these languages in your programs. You can, for example, create a new program that only uses the core language, which means you basically program in C. And as you, um, you know, as you evolve to more complex programs, it probably makes sense to use more advanced programming facilities, at which point you can simply include, for example, the state machines module, and you can then use state machines uh, as part of your code. And of course, you can build your own language extensions for your own domain specific concepts. You can, if you work in, let's say, image processing, you can create your own language abstractions for working efficiently with Im images, for example, matrices, and you can actually project them in two dimensions <laughs> just to make it look nice. OK, so this has been a quick demo of the MPSC Mindstorms project. Uh, I am Markus Felter. Contact me at voelter at acm.org. And uh, if you want to join and help us make this even cooler, contact us and, you know, let us know. And if you want to use this maybe in a real project or as a, you know, to evaluate the usefulness in a real pro project, you know, serious testing, let us know. We're looking for that. Thanks for watching this demo.